Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, Indicom leads probe into discharge of weapon at police station. And in sports, Atkinson on top at ISL Champs. Reports are that the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, is probing an incident at Bath Police Station in St. Thomas, where a cop discharged a firearm which resulted in three of his colleagues being injured. It's reported that at about 9.45 Saturday morning, the policeman was inside the guard room cleaning a service Glock 17 9mm pistol belonging to a policewoman when he reportedly discharged the gun. A sergeant, a constable and a district constable were injured. Teachers arrested and charged in beating of grade 10 boys. The two male teachers implicated in the beating of two grade 10 students at Robert Lightburn High School in St. Thomas were on Friday arrested and charged. They were charged with assault occasioning bodily harm and were granted bail in the sum of $40,000 each. Reports are that following last week's Heritage Week celebrations at the school, a teacher requested that two students assist in moving chairs, but they were reluctant. It is reported that the two students were later pulled from a public passenger bus and beaten by a group of men. The teachers were reportedly among the group. And in sports, J3A looking to strengthen 4 by 100 meter team. President of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, the J3A Dr. Warren Blake, is targeting the 4 by 100 meter relay team to strengthen for the upcoming Tokyo Olympics. Blake says he will be seeking more competitions to go along with their training. He plans to reactivate invitations they had received in the past, such as Mueller and Zurich Diamond Leagues. Blake says the girls 4x100 meter got several chances to hone their baton passes, and that assisted them in their victory. Atkinson on top at ISL Champs. Jamaican swimmer Alia Atkinson continues to shine. On Sunday at the 2019 International Swimming League, ISL, in Budapest, she claimed the top spot for Team Iron in the women's 100-meter breaststroke. After securing victory in the women's 50 event on the previous day's competition, she was out like a bullet leading the race from wall to wall as she clocked a minute 3.84 seconds for the victory. Commenting on her victory, Atkinson said it was pretty good coming off the 200 on Saturday. She also shared it was their best placing in the 100. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.